Denver 7 Now is sponsored by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Shannon Ogden with the latest from Denver 7. A reward now stands at $9,000 if you can help find the man who beat a King Super security guard unconscious. This happened eight days ago, but Aurora police are only now releasing that video. That guard is in his 60s. You can see him follow the shoplifter out of the store. This is on East Mississippi. When that man turns around and just starts swinging, a witness finally comes to the rescue, but not before the suspect delivered a kick hard enough to leave a boot print on the guard's face. He was attacked relentlessly and if it weren't for someone stepping in and doing the right thing the, the assault would have continued and who knows what the security officer's condition would be today amazing and that security guard is resting at home tonight it could be weeks maybe months before he recovers the city of denver has to be counting down the days until club onyx's lease runs out the latest of many incidents came overnight two employees there were shot in the arm and foot by two people they'd kicked out of the club the city owns this building. It's at 14th Street, and earlier this year, they got so fed up with the violence there, they voted to kick them out at the end of the year. Councilwoman Candy Sidabaka was the only person to vote against that. She had no comment today. Well, my friends, we finally got to that point. Fans are so desperate to watch the abs during this altitude blackout, they're turning up at Pepsi Center to watch the live feed at Brooklyn's. And this, by the way, is only available during away games. Last season was so great, and so I think it drew a lot of sort of on the fence fans in. And so now the beginning of this season for them not to be able to watch is like it's a bummer. A bummer is right. The Nuggets play their first altitude broadcast preseason game of the year tonight as well. And as well, unless you're at Brooklyn, you can't watch that one either. So less than a week ago, a local charity was in dire straits. Their truck was stolen and it left them no way to restock their food bank. Well, lucky for them, one of our viewers happens to have a truck. Liz Gillardi has a story. No, it was quite devastating. Food still needed to be picked up. Shelves needed to be stocked. The day following your show, uh, <clears throat> the uh, phones just blasted off. An overwhelming response after someone stole Mean Street Ministries box truck. The food on this table was picked up Monday morning by a brand new volunteer. Watching the news as I always do every morning and I heard the story running and that their truck got stolen. And so I told my wife, I go, hey, I, you know, I could do that. I have a truck. I, we, we can pick up food donations and, and help them out. Viewer Ben Garcia loaded his pickup truck with fresh produce donated from a local Sprouts and dropped it off at the food bank. It's really touching. Um, people I never even met before uh, willing to uh, spend their mornings and their um, with their truck, you know, picking up stuff with us. It's um, it's pretty cool. I'm Pete. Pete, more help is on the way. Tim, Tim, nice to meet you, James. I'm Ryan. We Ryan. told James Fry, the this ministry's is, founder, uh, to meet us at a company <laughs> called 3R Technology Solutions. Well, this is awesome. It's our extra truck. A truck they are willing to donate. This is perfect. You think it might do the job or what? It's, it's bigger than the one we had. The company's CEO, Pete Mickelin, says he talked it over with his partners, and they all agreed it was just the right thing to do. He also knows how it feels to have a truck stolen. This gives us an opportunity to give back, make a difference. They had their truck stolen, and that's rough, and we've experienced that. So um, hopefully... You know, this will give them opportunity to pay it forward. It will no doubt make a huge difference. Without this, this food bank shuts down. This is my baby. This is our first truck. Oh, really? The truck will help collect anywhere from 20 to 25,000 pounds of food a month, keeping food on the table for local families. Liz Gillardi, Denver 7. You know what? You all are very nice. Thank you for that. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thank you for watching. We'll have another one later for you. And download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Shannon Ogden.